Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Monday, the 28th of October. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather dry today, mostly sunny for some, lingering clouds for others, but rain comes back by midweek for some tomorrow. Let's take a look at things. Fairly active pattern setting up. Big trough in the west. It is cold and snowy for many places out there. And around here, ridging over Florida. And there's the visible satellite view. And you can see that very sharp uh, line there representing the leading edge of the clouds from near Butler and Choctaw County up to uh, the western suburbs of Birmingham up to about Lake Gunnersville. West of that line, it's cloudy. South and east of that line, not a cloud in the sky. So a huge variation in cloud cover and accordingly a huge variation in temperature today. It's only 60, really cool for Coleman and Haleyville, Tuscaloosa 63. But back in the sun, you've got 72 at Alexander City, 71 for Anniston, Montgomery at 75. But out west, again, it's cold and it's snowy. It's just like the dead of winter across the central and northern Rockies today. And we're going to feel some of that late this week. There's the watch warning map, quiet in the east. Got some scattered winter weather issues for the West. And, of course, in California, the wildfire danger continues. No severe weather expected through tonight across the country. Tomorrow, a marginal risk over parts of South Texas. And for day three, Wednesday, a marginal risk from South Texas up through parts of the Mississippi Valley. Kind of clips the northwestern corner of the state. But at this point, we're not expecting any severe storms, just some rain on Halloween. We'll talk about the timing here in just a second. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The west is dry. The east is wet. Alabama, rain amounts could exceed three inches for parts of the northern part of the state. One to two inches down to the south, but again, some very beneficial rain likely over the next few days. And off in the tropics, uh, Pablo is now post-tropical, way up in the North Atlantic. That big swirl up there in the North Atlantic probably not becoming a tropical system. The Gulf is very quiet. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Ridging off the South Atlantic coast, cold trough in the west. Snow continues for parts of Colorado and Wyoming tomorrow. And around here, we'll start to see rain creeping up into South Alabama. This is the high res NAM at 4 o'clock. Rain mainly south of a line from Mobile to Montgomery to about Heflin. Uh, so that's where the better chance of rain will be. The northern half of the state, probably the sky becoming cloudy, low 70s, but uh, no rain, uh, most likely for the northern counties. Now, this is Wednesday morning at 7, a warm front pushing north, and again, that looks fairly wet, so rain will be increasing statewide late tomorrow night, early Wednesday morning. And this is Wednesday evening at 7, showing showers around. And understand, uh, it's not going to rain all day Thursday, uh, but there will be showers. And, of course, we can't tell you exactly when and where it will be raining at 7 o'clock Wednesday evening. Uh, but no doubt showers will be around. And this is Halloween. This is uh, 4 o'clock on Thursday. A surface low is north of Indianapolis with a trailing front down to Memphis. And uh, no doubt Thursday will be wet with uh, rain likely. Uh, I don't think we have any severe weather, no real instability to work with based on the latest guidance here. Uh, this is the European at, at the same time. It's a smidgen slower, and there are just minor differences here. But the key is when does the rain end, because a lot of kids like to trick-or-treat on Halloween night, obviously, Thursday evening. And uh, it, it's going to be a close call. I'd say the rain will end probably in West Alabama late afternoon, East Alabama, 8, 9, 10 o'clock maybe. Uh, we'll be much more specific on the timing of this tomorrow as we get better clarity. But no doubt, Thursday, rain, maybe some thunder. Don't expect any severe weather at this point. Friday. Friday morning is going to be cold. We're expecting lows between 32 and 35 in most spots. If the wind goes calm, we'll see a lot of frost. There could be a freeze in some locations. The high Friday, only in the 50s. I think we'll be in the middle 50s, even with sunshine. These are the anomalies on Friday. Very cold air for much of the contiguous United States. Saturday dry, and again, we're going to be close to freezing Saturday morning. A lot of frost, most likely. That's a 1030 millibar high coming down across Kansas. The day will be sunny, the high in the upper 50s. Sunday, same thing. We start the day in the 30s, low 60s, bright sunshine. So no rain, but temperatures well below average this weekend. And a week from today, this is Monday the 4th, a zonal flow and a dry air mass. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 7th. 
ridging beginning to build in the west. We have a northwest flow aloft, and again, if that verifies, that's going to be dry. Here's the uh, ensemble output from the European for Birmingham rain for the next seven days, and this is mainly for the event uh, late tomorrow night through Thursday. Rain amounts between two and three inches, the mean. Some of the members, you know, go up to five inches here, but we like to use that uh, ensemble mean. And the numbers, uh, you can see highs dropping in the 50s. In fact, the, the uh, uh, ensemble output here has a high in Birmingham of 49 on Sunday. We're not going that low. But no doubt, a lot of folks will see the first frost of the season uh, early Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning. And some places inevitably will see their first freeze of the season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.